Oh no! I just realized it. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, what is up YouTube? Uh, so, Elise sent me a text and she said, you better go get some food because it uh, looks like the typhoon is approaching. Now, I don't think it's coming directly towards Macau, but I think it's going to be fairly close and you just never know which way these typhoons are going to turn last minute. So, I'm off my way to, on my way to parking shop to see if uh, we get some food because we don't really, because the parking shop is so close. We usually go daily or whenever we need something, we just pop over and go to the grocery store. So uh, sometimes if it's a big typhoon and there's a lot of people that know about it, uh, the grocery store can be cleaned out. I don't think that's gonna be the case here, but uh, um, it's still way before everyone gets out of work. So I'm hoping there's still a chance for me to buy a few things. Really just getting a couple basic items to last me, you know, one or two days. It's nothing too dramatic. Um, although I guess most of us that have been in Macau long enough still remember Typhoon Hado and that was kind of a painful experience. We didn't have water for several days. That was kind of scary. Um, I don't think that's going to be the case here. Everything should be fine. Uh, I haven't heard that it's going to be as huge and it doesn't look like it's going to be a direct hit. If you guys want to see something crazy in terms of price, look at the price of these tomatoes. 5.5 mop, which is less than less than one dollar when you compare it to these tomatoes that are imported from Holland this is like a little less than eight dollars and this is 32 which is about four dollars these tomatoes here they're probably from China but I don't know the longer I lived here I just I didn't really I stopped sort of paying attention to that and they taste the same I'll let you know how much this totals up so you can kind of get an idea what it what it costs to go to the grocery store those skies are looking pretty ominous that is for sure. Actually, it was raining most of the day earlier, but it's a little bit of a calm right now. Don't worry, I'm not in the eye of the storm. <laughs> I know better than that. So um, we bought our groceries and uh, now we're going back home. And when I get home, I'll go through the groceries so you guys can, you know, a lot of people ask like, what does it cost to live in Macau? How much is rent? How much is food? I'll go through the food I bought today so you guys can kind of get an idea how much food costs. Cause in my mind, food in Macau is expensive. Two things that are expensive. Well, maybe three. You know, housing is expensive, food is expensive, and transportation, if you have your own private car, is expensive. And that's why I've chosen not to, not to drive in Macau in the six years that I've lived here. Let's go home because it's starting to get a little bit windy. So I don't think I've ever shown you guys, but as you can see, my kitchen is entirely too tiny. Probably fits two people and the door awkwardly is here. I gotta close the door to get to, don't look at my chips, uh, to get to my utensils. And I gotta, you gotta walk through the kitchen to get to the um, washing machine. And then I got a nice little balcony that I can, um, you know, look out here and whatnot. But uh, the kitchen is small. I'm going to put some things on the counter and I'm going to go through them and tell you how much all these things cost so you can get an idea. So let me lay that out uh, and I'll go one by one so you guys can see and I'll say the prices in US dollars. All right, so as you guys can see, I, uh, I took my duffel bag with me to the grocery store because um, ever since some time back now, you have to pay to get a plastic bag. And if I can remember, I'll just take my bag with me and I'll fill it up myself. There's no need to have to pay for a... Uh, for a, a grocery bag there. So, all right, I'm gonna go through these. I got my, I got my receipt here. Uh, you can see the total came out, actually the total came out to exactly 400 mop and 40 cents. I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to see that. So that is exactly like $50 US. So I think this will be a really interesting, um, it'll be sort of a really interesting uh, little, little experiment that we'll go through here. All right. Oh no, I just realized that, oh my goodness, look at this. All of the items are in Chinese. It's gonna be fairly difficult for me to, 
Uh, all right, I'm gonna do my best uh, here, guys, because I should roughly know the price, and a lot of stuff should have prices attached to it. Um, okay, so the first thing that I'll go through are the eggs. So these eggs were probably about a little less than $4. Now here, the, uh, the salmon, this one has the price directly on it. This is 71. So uh, 80 mop is about $10. So this is, this is about uh, $9 US. So, I mean, relatively expensive if you ask me and not for like a prime cut, like a filet. Um, this is like the center of the body of the fish. So um, yeah, this is, I would consider this, uh, you know, somewhat, somewhat expensive. And then uh, the chicken also has the price on it, so that's really easy to tell. Uh, the chicken is $26.40, so that's a little over $3. This is about a pound of chicken. These are chicken tenderloins. And then I just got some lettuce because I might make a sandwich later. This lettuce was a dollar. What else do we got here? Oh, the tomatoes. You guys saw the comparison I did uh, at the... Um, at the grocery store. These are 5.5 mop. Eight mop is $1. So this is a little over 50 cents. Uh, now, uh, these are coming from China, but like I said, once I, I, I talked to a couple of friends of mine that are chefs, he said that it's no different. They cook with this stuff. Yeah, and so I just started buying regular, regular food. Uh, this cucumber is $6.50, so less than a dollar. Uh, my bread got a little bit smashed up. All right, the bread should be pretty cheap. Oh, the bread is actually in English here. This is, is that right? $9? All right, so this bread is a, a little over $1 US. This is where it's gonna, oh, this was expensive. These uh, mandarins were 20, 29.8, it's almost 30 mop. That's a little less than $4 US. So kind of expensive, mandarins are expensive, but these look really nice and I really love mandarins, so. You know, sort of, <laughs> I spoil myself, right? <laughs> All right, so now we're getting into the things that I know. Oh, okay, sorry, the onions. Sticking with the vegetables. Uh, onions, three onions for 18.2. So a pound and a half of onions is a little over $2. So uh, the milk, I'm fairly certain, is 48 mop for a liter and a half. That's how much? That's uh, 48 mop is uh, $6. I only have a few things left. I got this uh, balsamic vinaigrette. I got uh, just some canned uh, fruit that I'll eat with the that I'll eat with the cottage cheese, actually. And then I got some frozen sausage pa patties. The cottage cheese is expensive. This is 30, 36 mop, a little less than four dollars, and it's a fairly small can, two hundred grams of it. There's a price on here for thirty, sorry, for forty mop. So I'm gonna say that the vinaigrette was probably that. Forty mop is about five dollars US. And then the canned fruit, 26 mops, so about three, a little over $3. Uh, the pork sausage patties are probably the 34, uh, which is a little over $4. So am I missing anything? Oh, uh, mayo, a little bit more than $3.50 probably for this little can of mayo. So yeah, in total $50, let me give you guys a look here of sort of all the items that I got. Uh, canned food, sausage patties, mayo, egg, uh, chicken, uh, fish, lettuce, uh, cottage cheese, bread, tomato, um, cucumber, onion, mandarins, and milk. So, I mean, I, I don't know, $50 US, I gotta be honest with you, I have lost touch in terms of what things cost in the US. Um, what do you guys think? Is it expensive? Is it not expensive? Uh, also, if you're watching from Macau, I bought this at the parking shop. Now, there are cheaper places you can go. You can go to San Mew and get it cheaper. You could go to a wet market and just buy the vegetables and the groceries from a specific person. You're not obviously going to get things like cottage cheese and, um, well, everything else you might be able to get. But <laughs> you're not going to get that. But um, just to give you guys an idea, I mean, obviously you can do cheaper, you can go to, but as you can see, I was able to walk to the parking shop and walk back. It's really close. There is a sand mew, but um, it's, I had to walk a little bit further. So I figured I'd make a video out of it because I get some questions as to how much does it cost to live in Macau? This is an idea. I mean, 
Everyone's going to be different in terms of how big your family is and how much food you cook or don't cook. Most people in Macau don't cook. So anyways, um, we're going to see what happens with this typhoon. Uh, I'll update you guys as soon as it passes. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your comments down below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.